Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's, um, it's a long time coming. I've been looking forward to this for the past four years and it's, it's getting closer. It's, uh, time's going a lot faster uh, the closer I get, so yeah, I'm really excited about it. Already I'm just thinking, for the, um, I'm thinking ahead to the Commonwealth Games, so already wanting that gold medal and just thinking about it the whole time. It was pretty devastating, obviously missing out on um, the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. Um, I was very close to qualifying, but unfortunately had a couple of bad decisions and yeah, it, it put me behind um, in the fact that, yeah, I wasn't going to go to Rio. So, but I think that, I think it happened for a reason and I've already improved a, a lot since my qualifications for, for the Olympic Games. So I feel like it's happened for a reason. It's been a big driver for me and yeah, obviously such a big hurdle um, has pushed me through and I'm, yeah, I think I'm a lot stronger for the gold medal. I like the fact that I don't do like a normal, a normal girl sport. I think it's it's such a great thing to do something completely different when people ask you what you do. You know, you say boxing, and they just can't believe it. They're like, "Oh, where's your broken nose and things?" I'm like, it's not as bad as everyone thinks. You know, we do wear the head guard and the mouth guard, and the worst injury I've had, you know, would be like the little black eyes or a little, little bit of a blood nose. Touch wood. I'm just so excited. I'm I'm really excited. I just can't wait. Got a long way to go though, and a lot of training to come. A lot of hard training sessions that I'm going to have to push through in the lead up to this and even over Christmas and things I'm going to be training too so um, I know all of this will you know is is what I need to do to to win the gold.